Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 11 of my RStudio tutorials here on YouTube. First of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and furthermore, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I want to make this channel grow as much as possible, I want it to reach the thousand subscribers soon. So please, if it is helpful to you, then please leave a subscription, it would mean the world to me. Okay, so today we're going to have a look at how to plot a data matrix, uh, a, a correlation matrix here in R. I do recommend watching the previous videos uh, I made on R, but you're not obligated to do so because I'll explain the most important things in this video as well. So we're going to use two packages today. The first one is going to be library and then between brackets datarium. And the second one is going to be library and then between brackets sgsj plot. So, and you run those two codes by pressing Ctrl Enter. So we're going to use the data, uh, we're going to use the package datarium and the package sjplot. So we're going to use, uh, we're going to use the marketing data set today, which is in datarium. So therefore we're going to use view and then view marketing and then Ctrl Enter. With uh, capital W, yeah, uh, capital V. Uh, view and then uh, marketing and then you can see that it is a data set which contains of which contains four variables being the sales in YouTube in Facebook and in newspapers and another variable called sales but we're not going to look at that one we're just going to look at the correlations today between YouTube Facebook and newspaper so how do you do that well it's actually kind of easy first of all we attach this data set so we press attach and then marketing so from now on, if you then run that code, uh, from now on, uh, R knows that we're talking about the marketing data set. So uh, you don't have to type marketing every single time. You can just, uh, R now knows that we're talking about the marketing data set. And the first thing we're gonna do is just look at a simple correlation between the sales of YouTube and the sales of Facebook. So we type core and then, core and then between brackets, YouTube, comma, Facebook and run that code and then we can see all the way in the bottom that the correlation between YouTube and Facebook is 0.0548 etc. So this means that it is a non-correlation and it's a positive one because it's between 0 and 1 so it's a positive correlation and it's between 0 and 0 0.1 so that makes it a non-correlation. Uh, as a reminder for you, there are, uh, if we use the Pearson correlation, there are four uh, different categories. It can be a non-correlation if it's between 0 and 0 0.1. If it's between 0 0.1 and 0 0.3, it's a small correlation. If it's between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5, it's an average correlation. And if it's higher than 0 0.5, then it's a big correlation. The same applies for negative correlations. So if it's between zero, if it's between zero and minus 0 0.1, it's a non-correlation. If it's between minus 0 0.1 and minus 0 0.3, then it's a small correlation. If it's between minus 0 0.3 and minus 0 0.5, it's a average correlation. And if it's between zero point, uh, minus 0 0.5 and minus one, it's a big correlation, but a negative one. So in this case, it's between 0 and 0 0.1, so therefore we can conclude that it's a non-correlation. So that's how you can look at some simple correlations. But what we want to do now is to take a look at a complete correlation matrix, including the significance values, because that's of course what you're interested in. So first of all, we need to make a new data frame uh, cont containing the three variables. So what we're going to do is type the name of the new data frame. It's going to be correlation is data point frame and then YouTube, newspaper, and Facebook, and press Ctrl Enter. And now you can see in the right, in the environment section, that we've made a new data frame called correlation, and it consists of th three variables. Okay, and next up, we're gonna use the code to get the correlation matrix. It's really easy, you type tab uh, core, uh, tab lower dash core with double R this time, important, and then the correlation, data set, data frame, and then you type a comma, and then p.numeric is true. So it means that we want the numeric p value, so we want the significance levels, and that's true. So the t uh, means true. And then we press Ctrl Enter, 
And then in the lower right, in the viewer, you can now see a correlation matrix from YouTube, newspaper, Facebook, and their significance values. And we can see that there is only one significant correlation in this case. It's the correlation between Facebook and newspapers, and it's 0.354. So that means that it's an average correlation between, because it's between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 uh, and 0 0.5. So that makes it a positive average correlation and the significance level, so the p-value is below 0 0.01. So it makes it a significant positive average correlation. While the other ones are uh, positive as well, but they are uh, non-correlations and not significant either. Okay, so that's how you can make a correlation matrix including the p-values in R. If this video was helpful to you, then may please, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. It would mean the world to me. And for now, guys, I'll see you on the next tutorial. Ciao.